Welcome back to the Gaming Podcast, Episode 2. I'm Martian. This is Slayer from Episode 1. And introducing Skilled Assassin. Welcome to the podcast. It is I, finally. (laughs) All right, you may know him from uh, Rebirth Island Customs. Him holding hands with his brother (laughs) around the whole map. (laughs) And um, today, we're going to talk about the most anticipated games coming up for 2024. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about... Give our review for 2023 games. Mm -hmm. And we got who's most likely to segments, random questions. And we're going to pop it off at the end with a main event of uh, another bracket. Because you guys enjoyed the last bracket. So thanks for everybody who supported the first episode. And um, yeah, what do you guys want to start with? I actually want to know what your guys' game of the year was. Or not game of the year, but what do you think that this year the game that you played is like personally your favorite? Jeez. See, if it's played, I if it was played, I would have I would have put Spider Man up there, but I didn't. I haven't played it yet. Yeah, because obviously the well, restrictions well, yeah. of being only on PlayStation. Yeah, that is a, a bad. Well, I feel like for Spider Man being a PlayStation exclusive, a lot of people don't play. I mean, I me personally, I watched the thing, so it looked amazing. Yeah, yeah, but. I, I would say <clears throat> I would answer it just from like games that you played so far and what you enjoyed the most. Like even if it was like ten minutes or yeah, whatever, most likely it wouldn't be. I but, feel that. Yeah. Quick question: All three of us are on PC, but yeah. do we have to play the game in order to rank the game? Like, cause I watched all all of Spider Man and yeah, I can same. say that's the best game like of the year. Like the year, hundred percent. Yeah, that and, the fight scenes, the Sandman scene was yeah. like incredible. Um, the Venom thing, they just mm-hmm. they, knocked it, was, it, it out the park. It was definitely a, uh, a fan service game, for sure. Yeah. Like, it was, 100%. we're obviously big Marvel fans. So, but, um, yeah, I don't, I think, um, I think we're able to. Yeah. I think just for, because, I mean, we're not, and we're not really going to have an answer to it. So Yeah, let's say the yeah. list that came out. Um, The top games were uh, Spider-Man 2, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Baldur's Gate is another one that yeah. a lot of people love. I've seen, yeah, I've seen some gameplay on yeah. it. We have uh, Mario Bros. Uh, Wonder yeah. came out. Um, Let's talk about how heavy this year was. 2023? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They gave us... All the games like fans have been asking for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They gave, we have a Mario on there. We have Spider Man, Baldur's Gate for that type of genre. Mm-hmm. We have Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah. We have um, a great year for fighting games. MK1, MK1 yeah. Street great. Fighter yeah. 6, uh-huh. and um, I think a UFC game came out too. Yeah. yeah. So three fighting games. Assassin's Creed came out. Mirage. Mm-hmm. Alan Wake 2, another, um, it looks Single like a Resident theory. Evil it, yeah, type of game. Campaign game. Yeah. Seen okay. It, seen it before. And uh, Star Wars. Yeah. Come yeah. out with a game every year now. Um, and then compared to 2022, mm-hmm. guess what were the top um, games of 2022? 2022? Yeah. I mean, I would say sales-wise, 100%. I know Call of Duty MW2 is up there. Even though it no, was, it was actually one of the worst. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I know it was one of the worst oh, games. Oh, yeah, but, but top, right, top like, selling. Top selling, yeah. top selling yeah. 100%. I know that game sold a lot, but... It was God of the War. I mean, God of War, Ragnarok. Yeah. Oh, that came out last year. Huh? Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Oh, yeah. oh, Elden Ring. Guess uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, I'm not, I don't know nothing about yeah, it, but it's, right. it's, it's a top game. Yeah. And then guess what's under it? Ghostwire, Tokyo. And that's it. Yeah. That's literally three 20. games. And... Uh, and I'm, then we got so much games this year. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, but back to your question, you said, uh, "What uh, what game was interest interested us the most?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, um, I played Hogwarts Legacy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got over it. You guys love MK1, right? MK1, yeah. great. Yeah. yeah, super fun. I mean, they did Scorpion wrong. You never forgive <laughs> them for that. It's fucked up. Yeah, it's hard to uh, disagree, but Spider Man for Spider-Man, sure. Spider Man, yeah. yeah. All, yeah so all three of us. It was. It's literally a. T- it was a titan compared to everything else. It felt it, like the fact yeah, that yeah. none of us have played it, and that we still think highly of it, and it's like one of the, not one of the best games. I mean, I would say like it's up there, right? But like it was such a great game. I mean, I think one for me was really anticipated for me because I did I did play the first one and I did play Miles Morales. Yeah, yeah. So it was really anticipated for me. Sadly, didn't have a PS Five, couldn't play it, but. I think for sure the Spider Man. It was just I don't know. It was just really anticipated for sure. I yeah, think. yeah. It's not yeah. like other games where you have to play because it still has a web swinging, so yeah. you can already know how to play. Yeah, hundred percent. It's the story. Yeah, and we both we all watched yeah, the story, yeah, yeah. so all that's what it. took it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But yeah, same. Um, 
we got a list of 2024 games coming out and um just hear your thoughts what are you most anticipated um game of the year Mm -hmm. so arc 2 is coming out Mm -hmm. and then um wolverine oh Uh, and then suicide squad yeah those are like the top three everyone's looking for there's not too many games i saw that are coming out yeah i know there's some games like tekken 6 i'm pretty sure they're on which is another fighting game yeah Yeah. but i know there's a big community on tekken um what else i had some on my list was there what when's uh skate 4 supposed to come out i feel like i have like i hear like snippets of it like i don't really i don't know if they like it's supposed to be coming out in 2024 yeah and what game was it that had like a pre 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 alpha for skate like was it skate 4 i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure with skate 4 that they had like some like content creators or like play yeah yeah yeah. i'm pretty sure it was them it should it should come come out out in 2024 I feel like that'd be a like a super fun game, like just mini game wise, just yeah. doing like messing with all your friends. Yeah, I feel like that'd be sure. super fun. And I, I mean, do we anybody know if GTA Six is confirmed to come out twenty twenty four? I mean, it's not confirmed for sure, but damn GTA Six. I don't know. I don't know when it's confirmed to come out, but I know that they the like, trailer yeah, drops. The December. trailer's supposed to drop the, pretty this, soon. I heard this thing yesterday on TikTok that. Uh, it's gonna be so good that they're gonna charge people instead an of seventy hour, an actually, hour to play it. You see that's, that? not, that's not right, bro. That's <laughs> not crazy. Right. I think people would buy it too, like that. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, from how long it's been like in the works or talks about it, I mean, it's like I feel like it's gonna be another game where it's gonna be like super anticipated, like Spider Man. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, from going back to just games coming out this year, Tekken Eight. Oh, it's eight. It's not six. It's eight. Uh, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Um, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to come out this year, but uh, I think they delayed it because fan or people were saying that it just didn't look good. So oh, they, really? They, yeah, I think they wanted to work on it more. They just released gameplay from yeah, it yeah. too, and it looks a little like gimmicky. Mm-hmm. Like not, f- I thought it was gonna have the Batman type of scenery, yeah. and uh, but it looks gimmicky. Like the a, tanks don't look real. It's like, kind of like Avengers, right? The multiplayer one. It from it kind of looks like Overwatch. You think so? Like yeah. But uh, yeah, Avengers. Yeah, how like, gimmicky yeah, Avengers say, could be yeah, compared yeah. to Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's because it's not. It's gonna be PVE, right? It's not gonna be PvP. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. So and then so we also have Destiny Two: The Final Shape. I think it's pretty. I'm pretty sure it's the last DLC for Destiny Two. That yeah. Game, yeah, that game has been going out for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, we got Final Fantasy VII for those that are interested in Final Fantasy. Never really played it. I'm pretty sure it's RPG. Um, we got Star Wars Outlaws. I'm. I think how people described it was it was supposed to be a Star Wars game, kind of like Far Cry and Assassin's Creed. Uh-huh. So there, that game is coming out this year. And then Little Nightmares 3, which I know a lot of people like that game too. Yeah, yeah. But, I remember that game. Yeah. So those are the... I, I obviously missed other games that are coming out too, but those are I think those are like the main one that people are like looking forward to. Yeah. Say. I'm not a Star Wars fan, but I seen a clip of the Outlaws one, mm-hmm. and it looks really good. Yeah, like I might give it a try. Yeah, that's what I've I was, never played Star I mean, Wars. From hearing mm-hmm. it, it's like kind of like an Assassin's Creed Far Cry because I love Far Cry games. Yeah. So anytime they release a Far Cry game, I always play it. But like just hearing that, like, m- like makes me want to play the Star Wars, and I'm not really into Star Wars like that either. Yeah. What year did Far Cry Six come out? Far Cry Six came was that out last year. Twenty nineteen. No, it might have been like twenty twenty or twenty nineteen or something like so. that. Oh. Like during COVID. Damn. Yeah, because they do take long with their games. Huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I need another Far Cry for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Games are always fun, at least for me. They're always I, it's always so fun for me, at least because it's just the random moments that happens. Yeah, like it's just it's, <laughs> it could be an alligator like literally coming out of nowhere. Like you're just walking in and it's just it's just it's just yeah. there. What was your favorite Far Cry? Favorite Far Cry? Far Cry Four. 100%. I thought it was three for you. No, no it was three. Four. Three is 100%. three for you. I think we uh, we both started because you started us primal. On three. <laughs> yeah. Primal was the best, man. That's I I love the... I'm still to this day. I've gotten the Ubisoft pass and I've gotten been able to like play all of the Far Cry's and I did. You platinum com- though. Right? Yeah, I hundred you, completed um, every single Far Cry besides New Dawn and Primal. Damn. But so yeah, but I mean, Primal it was a hundred percent way different than uh. Yeah, I, I I don't know why it I like the bow the, and arrows. Yeah, stuff. I was gonna say yeah. it still had the formula of Far Cry where you're doing outposts, all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I see there was just no no it it was not it didn't interest me because there was no guns. It was just I don't know, it didn't mm. really catch my eye to me. You didn't want to ride a saber tooth <laughs> tiger or anything like yeah, that. That part did look look sick on that. Yeah. Game. But yeah, I think um three for me is because I mean I just started on three. That was that you started us on three, and so it was just super nostalgic just watching it, playing it. Yeah. yeah. 
Because that was the last PS3 one. Yeah. And then that was it the first PS3 went to one. I don't think... Because was... No, it was on PS2, right? It was the PS2? Cry 2? No, I think it was only on PS3. I think it started on PS3. Yeah. Yeah. And then everything PS2 else was, was next Far gen. Cry 2. So, and then the first Far Cry was PC. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I got mixed up with. So, but yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think Far Cry 4, definitely. For me, the only reason Far Cry 4 was is, I mean, I love 3. Before, I think it had way better story, and it basically had everything 3 had and just remastered it. Yeah. I feel like. Right. So, I would for sure say Far Cry 4 for me. I honestly cannot remember the story. Story? I just love running around the yeah. open world and just yeah. trying to do the platinum, mm-hmm. but I don't remember anything of the story. Yeah. And I I think I platinum primal for sure. Mm-hmm. Far Cry 3 uh, was the one I played the most after primal. Mm-hmm. And... um. I still don't remember the story. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, I still think to this day, if you put a picture of Voss from Far Cry 3, the main villain, I think even if you didn't play the game, I think you know who he is. Yeah. I yeah. Like that villain. 100%. Far Cry is, they obviously. Because he's on the I cover know, and that Far Cry 3 cover is like the most. Yeah, iconic. Yeah. Like if you, yeah, for sure. But I think Far Cry 3 or Far Cry, any, any Far Cry, I don't think they have the most compelling story at all compared to like some of these like, right, um, god of war last yeah. of us any of these things right but i think one thing they do now every single time is their villains for sure yeah the they're villains? always like eerie scary like it's actually crazy like, insane yeah. Yeah. yeah we should do a top gaming villains top soon be, yeah, we, like, yeah, who's the be best sick. villain yeah. throw bowser in there <laughs> <laughs> stole princess peach like four yeah. times yeah. he's on a streak he's on a streak yeah i don't know how they don't they don't get her but yeah i don't know <laughs> Next That's what we're going to do. Sure. Uh, coming up 2024, we're going to play a lot more games yeah, for sure. sure. Different types because we've been on the Call of Duty grind a long Shit. time. So yeah, sure. we just got to give other stuff a try, have an open mind. Yeah. And uh, so we can properly rank them and talk about them. Yeah. 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 I mean, we want to move on to our first segment of the day. Yeah, we could. All right. We are going to play Who's Most Likely To? So we got a bunch of stuff right here from the hat that we're each going to draw. And then we're going to read the prompt. So who's most likely to blank. And then we're going to debate on who that person is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Who wants to go first? Uh, I can go first. I'll put it in the middle. Let's see. Make sure I'm not grabbing like four. Okay. This is, okay. I think it's this way. Okay. There you go. Who, Who is most likely to take on the... Leader rule in the competitive game. In a competitive game. Ooh, that's tough. We're, I, I would say I like we're all kind of leaders. I, yeah, I feel like I, mo- I feel like most likely it'd probably mar- be probably be Martian the most. I feel like you're mm-hmm. just more you're just more pushed out there to, to make a play or whatever. Yeah. Right. Damn. I was just, yeah. It would be, I was gonna I would be say between Slayer. me. I would say it would be between you guys, you two. I feel like. Yeah, because there's certain games like. I guess ranked is like the most competitive one we yeah, play yeah, so yeah, far. Sure. Mm-hmm. Val a little bit and um the finals that just released on beta. Yeah. And I would take the leadership role sometimes, but I think Slayer would as well. Yeah. And uh I would put my trust in Slayer more because he'll know the, yeah. the spawns. He's more into the nitty yeah, gritty yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I'm all yeah. into that nerd stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. I feel like it for yeah for sure for me it'd be either one of you, uh, both you guys, mm-hmm. and sl- I would say like one thing from Slayer is like he's always making like like if we're playing S and D for like for example he's always making yeah. play calls he's like stand right there and now stand right there yeah and there it's you just go. like it's just stuff like that. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. Slayer, you take that one. <laughs> All right, who is most likely to not give comms? To not give comms? Yeah, just just be quiet. In middle middle battle, I no, was say, to be fair, the last time you streamed, I was muted for like. <laughs> okay, well, we won't pull it out that sometimes you guys go muted. Yeah. Because okay. of the background yeah, noise, yeah, yeah. but uh, all right, we're in a ranked match. We're all properly focused in. Yeah. Who's not? We're in a. I'm somebody is pushing and not saying anything. No comms. Yeah, you no should, comms. You just see a random gunfire. Honestly. I don't. Know. I think I I think we we all have our moments where we all we do give comms and stuff, but I think. Diddy or Assassin's mo- most likely to do it because he'll always like he'll p- do a play 
And if it doesn't work out, he won't say anything. He'll do the play. But if it doesn't work out, he'll be like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it would be him. Because if he would have called out that play, we could have helped him or something. I freaking, but... Yeah, I freaking hate uh, skilled rage. That was after, say, uh, <laughs> uh, after dying, <laughs> he'll, he'll let out, oh, my God. <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> after he's in front of me already. Yeah. After he, so we're, funny, it's yeah. too late. Ray would do that so much. It's so funny. <laughs> so I think Assassin, assassin too. I was going to say Assassin, that. too. Yeah. yeah. But I think we do still have our moments where we give call outs and stuff. Yeah, like we that. all do that. Yeah we, yeah. yeah. we get too uh focused in, locked mm-hmm. in. Yep. We forget to uh, talk. Mm-hmm. And then that's pretty much it. it's hard to talk when you're focused like that much too. Like yeah. if you're gonna feels like if you're gonna try to sneak up on a, somebody or a one V two situation, mm-hmm. like you get so dialed yeah, in where yeah. you don't want to talk. Yeah. You're like a predator. Just yeah. like it's, <laughs> a, it's the craziest thing when you're watching like the Call of Duty League or like Valorant or something. It's just crazy how oh hectic my. the comms are. Like I, oh I God. hear it and I can't understand like what someone's saying. Of like, it's just so hectic. Yeah. So, At the first, without the comms, I'm like, how did I? He, how did yeah. he not hear him? Yeah, yeah. But then when they, whatever they, they listen in. Yeah, they listen in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they listen in and it just calms nonstop. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. Oh, my turn. Yeah. Let's do... I'll gladly take this one. Who's most likely to break something while playing? Sheesh. It would have to be between me or Slayer. I feel yeah, like. for sure. Yeah, I think it's him again. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, it might be me. Well, I was going to say Slayer. Really? No. I've, I've like, never... I've never. Didn't you guys put a hole in the wall? No. No, no I've never broken a I slammed it. I slammed a couple of deaths before in my yeah? Yeah, time. But I, I said I've, I'd done that too, but... I mean, I've never broken a control, never broken anything. Like, playing or anything, raging like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. There yeah. you go, assassin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that probably be me. That's kind of rare because a lot of gamers do that. Yeah. And especially from the skill clan, some of you guys are ragers. Oh, yeah. You guys will throw your control. I remember when I first started streaming, I would buy you guys controls yeah. or buy you mics and you're like, oh, I sat on there, I broke it, I raged, <laughs> uh, this and this. Oh, man. And they remember, would just break everything. I remember how bad uh, I just didn't enjoy 2019 just because how multiplayer played at least. I remember there's going to be some days where I'm slamming just my fist on the desk or I'm just literally playing with the headset on my neck and literally just not, not even focused on anything. Right. Yeah. But, yeah, I would say Assassin would take that probably. Yeah, All for right. sure. Go next. Take this one. It's the right way. Who is most likely to get a game-related tattoo? Hmm. I don't know if I said that Ooh. close. Well, only oh. one of us has a tattoo yeah, right now. Yeah. Me. But to get a game related one, I don't, I don't know. What do you guys? I think? honestly think it'd be you. Me? I yeah. feel like yeah, you know the only reason I think it'd be you is you would have like a challenge on streaming. Like if I lose oh. <laughs> hundred games in a row, <laughs> yeah, I'll That's get true. a tattoo of That's something, true. and then some someone in chat puts like. That is true. I would use that to farm some views yeah. for sure. Yeah. 100% <laughs> I think it would be you. And you, Chad, get to pick the option. Here's option <laughs> one, two, three. And you get to pick where. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. And then I feel like, well, another thing, I mean, you already have a tattoo. So yeah. I feel another thing is that, I mean, I don't really, I never really had a desire to ever get a tattoo. What is a dream tattoo that you guys a would dream, want? I mean, I've never, uh, I don't really have a dream tattoo, but I've seen uh, someone, what they had was basically like kind of like barbed wire going down their like hand. Barbed wire? And then like it goes through the palm and then it's like a, a curse mark from Naruto. Oh. Okay. And it, that one's pretty cool. I always thought that one's like super sick, but yeah. They're going to think you got out of prison or something. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got um, that mark on my palm. I always That'd wanted cool. the, the spider symbol. The Spider-Man, Spider-Man symbol, yeah, like on the chest. On the chest, like, yeah. put, like a big one. We might have to do the Avengers there. I or like to get the Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Or kind of how like the soccer team logos here. Yeah. But like in a, it'll be like a like the spider symbol, and it'll like mm-hmm. looks like it's ripping. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. I always wanted something like that, but it's kind of I don't know if it's kind of cheesy or not. Yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah. So right. me. Yeah, yeah for sure. Right. 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 I don't know if you want to hold nah, it. Yeah. Just leave it here. Alright. Rage quit a game and turn off the console. To rage quit a game and then just turn off everything? Yeah. I feel like I feel like everyone has done it, right? 100%. I've done it for sure. I I wouldn't do it. Really? Yeah. Especially streaming now. Like I can't yeah, do it. Can't do <laughs> yeah. I mean I've seen some streamers do it, but Yeah. Um just absolutely clocked. It's gotta be one of you guys. Yeah. I would say one of us, to be honest. I mean, I've done it for sure, 
it just there's always that it doesn't even make you feel better or anything it's just like you're just so it just it feels, feels so petty <laughs> and you're just like nah i don't even i don't even want yeah. to like <laughs> be bothered leaving the game closing the app and then just getting off yeah, yeah i picture you guys yeah, doing man. it turn it off jump on the bed yeah. grab your phone you're watching netflix now or <laughs> yeah. something all right which one of you is most likely to do that probably had to be I, I, yeah I had to be me again yeah, just it's because a, it's I feel like I, I rage feel like a lot you more. would rage and do it, or you would just like. I think I'm more of a rager. I'm just off. This. He's, like, he's you like, get tired of it. Yeah, you I feel get, like I feel yeah. like he's more of like a rager where like he'll endure it. Like he will still he'll go to the next game after the same shit just happened or something. But me, I'm like I'm over it. But then I would like go on like a hour speed, yeah, hour just rant. Like, just a rant. I'm and then like, who, dude, like, why this game is so shit? You'll turn it off. And who's like who's the one ten minutes later like? You turn it back on. Yeah. <laughs> but I, that reminds me of like the old PlayStation days where like there'd be some times where I just turn on my PlayStation and I just look at like the games I have. I scroll by it, scroll by it again, and I just like I don't want to play anything. Yeah, I yeah. Just turn it off. Then we all had those days. Yeah. Even now with PC games, I do that all the time. I sh- I go through Steam. Yeah. Uh, what's new? I go through the Xbox, um, and then I go through Epic or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I just and then I just end up turning it off. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Well, like do you even, think games will stop being one day stop being like a certain price and have a cloud or just um i mean i think we're starting to see that already with uh game pass yeah, yeah with I xbox like, game yeah, pass because now like I, a whole thing like a whole um just, the, the way i see it, a lot of people how they talk about is uh with consoles and stuff like that i feel like the console itself and pcs they're they're systems they're not like they're not game based so you can't really rate a console being shit because their game is shit yeah. So I feel like with games, if they ever do a cloud like that, it would more most likely be okay. Then now it's definitely on console, like it's their fault. But like with a cloud like that, I mean, I would see yeah, but it'd probably be monthly the subscription, just because I mean, how would people, how would devs get paid? Yeah. Like, well, look at. what's the price you would pay for like to have for access to every game? Every game. Yeah. Um, like a month. If the game costs seventy. Seventy, and then if per month. Per month, and obviously you're not playing all of the games, but you're still. I mean, yeah, and you still gotta think about all the companies or all the brands that like that, that it pushes towards and whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, it'd probably be expensive to be honest. Yeah. It yeah. most likely yeah. nah. <clears throat> Even if you if it's like a, a yearly subscription. Damn, it'll it, be in the thousands. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But yeah, I think I mean it would probably. Most I think likely, I'd pay seventy a month. Unless 70, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. probably that would be. A, uh, for us it would yeah, be perfect good, yeah good price actually that does make sense too because a lot of people like me for example when i was like literally one game it was basically one game i had 70 bucks that was it i only could get one game and then if another game came out oh, yeah, i was yeah. like no kind of you kind of <clears> fucked and oh my cousin uh yeah. skill dingus he would uh his parents would only buy him a game mm-hmm. if they he shows them the end credits so if he beat the game. Yeah, if he beat the oh, game. That's, actually, that's smart. That's actually smart. Yeah. So he had, well, it was uh, PSP time. Uh-huh. Yeah. PSP era. And he had God of War, the DLC ones, mm-hmm. or the short ones. Yeah. And uh, he'll show them the end credit scene. Yeah. And then until then, he could get a new game. That, yeah, that's actually smart. But now you can play end credits. Yeah, scene, I was about so. to say. I was going to say, if <laughs> it was, like, if it was <laughs> now, he would just literally, oh, he'd get a free infinite yeah. game glitch, man. <laughs> but, yeah. That's like, I mean, I wouldn't say that's a good way to uh not a parent like if you if you're if you're a parent and then you just don't want your kids to play a lot of games like really like i don't think it's a it's not the best way because then they could just put a lot of time and just yeah. Beat it in, like, yeah just no life it like how we do yeah so, just beat it in a, in a day in a day so yeah. but yeah i mean that would that would make sense just to see just so he, he at least played it and got his money's worth yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's for sure maybe he had a i don't know but maybe he had a time like a a time he can only play for like yeah, an hour yeah, a day yeah, or yeah. something mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. yeah but now i feel like those games are harder so it will take longer to beat yeah 100%. um and then it felt pretty long the god of wars felt pretty long yeah so that's why it took a while to yeah get a new for game. sure yeah and there were i mean literally only campaign based so yeah yeah for sure but who's next uh, uh, i think it was you right because mm-hmm. it goes yeah it's you yeah all right Who's most likely to ear rape? Sheesh. JD. JD. <laughs> he's not here, but he's JD. But um, I think out of all of us... Um, damn. I'm trying to think. That might be me again. <laughs> <laughs> I think you too. Because I just feel like... 
I mean, not, not like you when, from yelling yeah. at somebody just sitting on the AC <laughs> on, on Marvel Dude, for three. Terminal AC? Uh, oh my god. I don't, you couldn't even get well, you could get up there, but not on all the way on top of the AC, right? Could you? Yeah, you could. You oh, could. you could? Okay. Dude, yeah. that AC, I don't know. What the? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That I, shit, feel like, it, I feel like I just have like a rap with that. like a random moment where I just, just put my mic close to my mouth and just scream or yeah. something like that. I don't know why. Yeah. I, between both of you guys, I think I'd, I'd do it the most. Or yeah, I'd like, give it yeah. to you. Yeah. I feel like, I mean, <laughs> I was going to say Discord chat is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Our Discord chat, at least. But, okay. We got, who is m- more likely to become a pro in a certain game? You. The Slayer. Yeah. Slayer, for sure. <clears throat> the gas, appreciate the gas. But, yeah. no. Nah. Yeah. I, th- I think, yeah, 100%. I feel like just because, like, your knowledge in, like, games. Because when you, I feel like with you, like, it's almost like if any game comes out, it's almost like you want to you wanna grind it. Yeah. yeah. I think, me personally, the way I find enjoyment in games and, like, Stuff like that. One, it's just like getting on and basically telling myself if I got better at that game. And I feel like that's a lot of people where a lot of people, I mean, there's <clears> especially <throat> in your chat and uh, the skill clan, a lot of people are like, oh, Slayer's too good or whatever. Yeah. But I always say I was never, I, I was never like, I literally didn't get on the game and just got good. I literally put time in. You just got to learn. You got to tell yourself if you, if you learned anything or if you gotten better, like things just don't happen over just like night, literally. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say if you always want to get better at a game or anything, just put time in it. Ask yourself if you got better. Some days you're not gonna learn anything. You're gonna be like, ah, I got worse somehow. But it's just, it's just how the, that's how the games are. I yeah. Feel yeah. Like for sure. What do you think about the argument that COD is just an easy game, and even if you put the time in to get uh-huh. better, yeah. it's not a, it's not a comparable to an actual, yeah. like. Like Valorant for, for yeah, instance, like a like skill or yeah. game, well, like I, the one that takes precision mm-hmm. or some other game that takes strategy. Mm-hmm. COD is just COD. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for sure, I think COD well, nowadays it's a hundred percent gotten it's gotten easier. For there's like not even a debate for it. I mean, this this year's COD with the kill time, I think kill time is like really a big factor in Call of Duty. If the kill time's really short, you see a lot of more like players that just they're not as good get away with more stuff yeah so yeah. i mean you can kind of see in this game they kind of try to compromise it with like the gu- guns in this game don't feel like they have recoil and that like n- none of them do yeah for yeah. sure but the kill time is obviously up but i would say for sure call of duty compared to everything else if there's different type of skill like skill gaps i would say because you can be really cracked at a game and play competitive and just like kind of play the highest league, but you'll still get shit on because you don't know what's going on in the map. Yeah, I think right. for sure knowledge, like where you think the best spot is you're supposed to be in, like getting cuts, like doing all that, spawns, knowing how to block things, when to rotate, stuff like that, that can definitely differentiate like a, a player from a, from a, like a really good player, but like still he doesn't know anything. Yeah. But either way, I still think COD for sure is, the skill gap for COD is a lot smaller than like, valorant apex apex is a really hard game i would say yeah competitive wise yeah Yeah, i mean from what i see it's like it's crazy yeah like there's a lot of things people do in apex that is like well you can i mean well for me personally it it could be a hot take i think any br it it just can't simply can't be competitive i think the way i see competitive is like if everybody's on the same playing Mm. field like exact same guns not same guns but like basically they are they all have the same thing like you can like, for example, you can land on Warzone and, like, Warzone competitive and someone else lands in the same building as you and they get the best gun in the game and you just get a pistol. Yeah. Then how how did all that training that you went through just get fucked over because yeah. of a pistol? Yeah, that's, that's I true. BR for sure. I mean, Warzone kind of tied it with loadouts, but still, there's still kind of RNG to that too. Yeah. But, yeah, I would say for sure, BR competitive scenes are always... They're, they're competitive and they have a lot of prize pools and all that. Yeah. And they can be competitive, but... There, it's it's pretty hard to do it br competitive right but yeah for sure i think <laughs> I'm, I'm just going because yeah, yeah. you could just um be involved in a 1v1 gunfight yeah kill that player and end up with half health and then a bot will kill you yeah, yeah. so yeah. like literally that's so, why yeah 100 yeah, percent. so i would say for sure call of duty skill gap like multiplayer wise arena wise definitely has least amount of out of everything but i still think you can like you can get better, and it's still competitive at some points. What's a game that you guys 
suck at or are average at that you would want to be like great valorant for sure valorant, valorant huh? just like the precision the and precision the, and just the boom, nastiness on the headshot yeah yeah, yeah for sure because like the knowledge is and that's another thing and knowledge is there for for me personally for valorant like i know when i like push things or like when's a bad push and stuff like that but my aim, bro, <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm about to push this. I'm about to swing this. And I'm about to kill this guy on this heady or or whatever in this box in this yeah. corner. And then I'm like missing everything. And then he just kills me. And I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah. You could be like, oh, he's in a peak right now. One, two, three peaks. And, he, and he you, was, still yeah, yeah, you still miss. Yeah, still miss. So, yeah, for sure. Valorant, I would say. All right. That was me? Mm-hmm. All right. You. Oh. Okay. Got who is mo- who is more likely to get emotionally invested in a storyline of a game? I think the last um, invested I was into a game was BL one story with the <laughs> numbers, the mind, the mind, the mind <laughs> fuck they the gave mind. me. I was like, holy crap! I think it might have to be. I think Slayer. I feel like Slayer. Me. Yeah, you're like crying. <laughs> <laughs> I almost almost cried on Last of Us and Red Dead. Both of those. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. Yeah, I think it's like Slayer. For sure. Slayer? Yeah. All right. Next one. Who is most likely to bust at a Fortnite character? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, assassin. <laughs> assassin. I knew sure. this was going to be pinned on me. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you would have a Fortnite character as your wallpaper for sure. <laughs> I might have to, honestly. <laughs> I might have to start transitioning to only Fortnite. <laughs> yeah shit now's a great time it's, it's back to prime Fortnite. Yeah, it's crazy it what do you think the new chapter is gonna be great i feel like i feel like a lot of people that have it now they're gonna play it i, f- I think i feel i feel like it would be great um but i feel like the people that are, like have it now just because of the og map or whatever they're gonna play it for a week or two maybe they'll maybe someone will like it and they'll bring them back into Fortnite, like how kind of how Fortnite was yeah but i feel like we might see like a little drop of just player account just because of the map being gone. Yeah. yeah being definitely. like a new map. And but, I think what they said was that they they could keep the map and just add a new map, but I think it just splits the player base too much and then we have that problem. Even we were facing that when uh, the OG Fortnite first came out because uh, we didn't want to play build. We yeah. played no build. There was just like bots everywhere. There was just bots everywhere. <clears throat> like, act, like not even real people. So it definitely 100% split the player base for sure if they do two maps like that, but... Why don't they just do rotating maps? Yeah, like kind of like how Apex does it. Yeah, but I would yeah. say another thing is that um, my friend Carlos, um, he also, when he plays Apex, he says a lot of people, what they do is when there's a certain map, kind of with Call of Duty, they only have like a 20-minute incre- increment, right? Or like 15 minutes right. when they switch maps. Mm-hmm. With uh, Apex, I'm pretty sure it's either, I can't remember if it's daily or if it's like an hour or two hours. People won't just get on for that hour for that oh, map. Oh, yeah. And then when the map comes out, they'll get on and then... Maybe play them, whatever, but, but yeah, I think for sure it's still either way, still splits the player base for sure. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think people are just, people, a lot of people don't like change for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The, but, it's a lot of nostalgia coming back that yeah, everyone's keen on. Like, nostalgia is a thing right now. Yeah. <laughs> like Especially with too. the Modern Warfare 2, yeah. 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 Fortnite OG. It's a lot of stuff. For sure. At least for me, because Fortnite OG right now, I'm, like, enjoying it a lot. Just because it feels like OG. Not because of, the, like, oh, the map being back or whatever. The, the simple fact, because uh, me personally, I switched. Because I always played on controller because I was started on PS4 on Fortnite. So whenever I played Fortnite, I was just always on controller. But now I, I switched to mouse and keyboard. So now, now it's kind of, like, kind of fun to learn more new things with mouse and keyboard. Trying to yeah. learn it, get used to it. I don't even play Fortnite like that, but, dude, I... I still say to this day, it's the best game ever. Yeah. yeah. Like, 100%. what it did for everything. It changed, I, f- I felt like it changed everything. The live stuff going on. I'm yeah. pretty sure that was, Fortnite was the first game to ever even add uh, crossplay. I'm pretty sure, yeah. What? There was no other it was like It was like halfway through the year, yeah. like a like couple of years, right? Because I remember, it didn't, I don't think it had crossplay when it first mm-hmm. came out. No, it didn't. But I remember like a big deal, like, oh, crossplay is being added. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. At least one game that I could remember from the top of yeah. my head. Because I don't remember, I mean, back then, that many games. Like, now, to be honest, the way I look at it, especially what kind of sucks about Mortal Kombat 1, is that I expect a lot of the games that come out that is not single player, that's like multiplayer, it should be cross-play. Be cross-play. Yeah. Like, it should just automatically come cross-play. 
And I think an, a, one thing that kind of scares them to not do that is that PC people, it's not that PC people have an advantage, because they do, but it's not, I think PC people, like, a lot of people, I, from hackers, I think they all come from PC. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. sure. So I would say, like, I think a lot of people are kind of scared of that, or a lot of devs, but I would say games now should automatically come with crossplay. Right. Yeah. And an anti-cheat, hopefully. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. That too. All right. But in conclusion, Fortnite characters are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Take one. Who is most likely to? Oh wait. Okay. <laughs> Who is most likely to play twenty four hours straight? I literally did like a twelve hour shit shift. <laughs> twelve <laughs> hours. Either Martian or Slayer. If it was like if it, if I wasn't I've... working how I was or how I am now, I think it'd still be me. But it's between both of you guys. 24 hours straight? Yeah. I feel like two out of those hours, I'd have to do gay. Like, <laughs> no. just, no. just because, like, let me use the bathroom. He comes back a whole new person. <laughs> no, so I'll do 22 hours straight. Oh. No. <laughs> you guys really got it? Yeah, I thought oh you meant like, gosh. I, thought you, so I thought you meant you were literally switching characters off stream. <laughs> gosh. Um, <laughs> I think me. Yeah, yeah. For a stream, for a stream, uh, for yeah. Streamers, for yeah. Sure. For a stream, and for I sure. think for now, I don't know what I. Be, I mean, shit. When I was in middle school, Fortnite, I was putting. We were all staying up at like Damn. three in the morning, four in the morning. When's the like last time you saw the sun come up after Dude, playing I'm all you, night? Fortnite summer when it was like season five when it was like the summer. I get in. The, we didn't have school. I'm telling you, I, I, the amount of times I told my dad and my mom good morning when they were going to work while oh, I was literally damn. playing, dude. Yeah, it's it's insane. <laughs> yeah, that that sleep schedule was crazy. But I, honestly, I just can't play. For me, I can't play games for. I could play it for a while, but like, my head would start hurting, and then yeah. like I'd start to notice that I'm not even thinking. I'm just literally. I'm just. It's just. Yeah, yeah. It's literally autopilot. Just on autopilot. 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 Yeah, yeah, for sure. So. Yeah. All right, we'll do a couple more, one each from you, yeah. and then we'll move on. My turn, right? Oh, you wait. Yeah. Okay, who is most likely to die to fall damage? Oh. Oh. Oh, actually, oh. wait. Die rise? <laughs> that is a good thing. <laughs> hold, up, hold, hold up, hold up. That is, that is one thing. But there was this thing that people can do in Warzone. Where you get a video of like your kills, like your basically your first win and all that oh, stuff. Oh, when uh, when Warzone two came oh, out, right? And yeah, my yeah. stats, my stat, it showed like basically what my team stats were, and apparently it said most person that died of fall damage, and it was you. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. on Warzone. So damn. Freaking but then Warzone. again, you did play. You played. You played more Warzone you, than me. Hundred percent. We played multiplayer oh, okay. a lot. But yeah, you had more hours, but you did. You definitely did die more yeah. than us in fall damage for Warzone. I believe it. Played um, Rebirth Island almost every day. Yeah. That <clears> game would... I don't know why that game... It was so fun. But that game, sometimes when it would get on your nerves, dude... It would get on your nerves. Yeah. Shit. But, yeah. For sure you. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> Who is most likely to yell out a slur? Oh... Who, who wants this one, huh? Who wants it? <laughs> For sure it's not me. It was one you of you guys. guys. Mm, not me. Yeah, this, hey, hey, some things just come out. I think it's assassin. Yeah, some things just come out. <laughs> For yeah. sure. Dude, sometimes, I mean, I think to myself, like, back, because right now I don't. No, not all, like, just because never. how it, everything is now. Yeah. But, oh, my God. <laughs> middle school us. Yeah, middle school before? us and elementary school. Uh, yeah, middle school us. Damn. You don't want to see it. It was you do not want to see it. I say honest no, never mind, I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> Damn hard R? It's <laughs> everything? Yeah. All the above? All the above, man. Nah, but Sheesh. Yeah. I mean it was just like in the heat of the moment type thing. Yeah. You know what time we started? We no, I didn't check. Yeah. Right, you want me to check the thing? Yeah. Let me check. I'll check. Let's see. Got like 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Okay, okay you want to wrap the, <clears throat> the most likely to then? Yeah, move okay. on to our next segment. Before we move on to our next segment, got a random question both for both of you. Mm -hmm. If you could take any fictional character mm -hmm. from any universe 
and make it a story game, mm. uh, story based video game. What character Ooh. are you choosing? I already know mine. That's story. Okay, I'll so give you guys time to think through, through games, right? I'll do Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, and just have an open world or a story mode on Aang, of course. Yeah. And then you learning, kind of similar to Spider-Man and all mm-hmm. the skills, the earth bending, all the different types of earth, fire yeah. um, skills you got. Yeah, yeah. So something sick. like that. Mm-hmm. That'd be sick. Um, game-wise, I mean, a lot of characters... I mean, a lot of games are just through the main characters. Yeah. So I'm trying to think That's of like, side characters. Are you saying... Well, wait, you're saying through video games or through just anything? No, any, like any any fictional like, character, uh, yeah. just make it a video game. Oh, make it? Okay, I see. Yeah, so you could take like Deadpool, Mickey but Mouse already, shit, it's already, yeah, yeah it's already yeah, okay, a game. I see. So I don't know why the first thing is like, Dora the Explorer. <laughs> even <laughs> even yeah. you, how many worlds you can explore as oh, Dora? Oh, damn. <laughs> Boots is like your mini map or something. Like, it'll help you or the map. The map that she it's has. It's a playable effect. character, <laughs> yeah. too, split screen. <laughs> That'd be sick. Um, oh. Damn. Dora. <laughs> Dora. Dora would be heat. The, that'd be uh, hard because like right now I'm, i could think of some but then like i know later i'll be like ah oh, that'd be a sick character to do too yeah i just think like I, like any superhero character like that would be like just kind of like their world or like their gameplay wise like how they would play and like a pick one like a hulk game like a hulk or low, not a captain america I, was gonna say, I, feel like sure. key, I feel like i would want to pick like a character where you just really like don't see like main character or main uh like hero character rated r or no nah. rated r has, i think rated r would be like sick but like hmm. i don't know like it'd be had to be like like wolverine that's kind of like that's sick i mean i think he had like previous games right they had previous games yeah with them. Yeah, yeah x-men origins yeah. was sick mm-hmm. yeah but like it would have to be like one of those mm-hmm. yeah i mean i would say for me re- most recently which i got kind of into was uh we recently watched invincible and i think oh, yeah. invincible, oh, there you dude, go. invincible yeah. would be a sick game yeah, that'd be a, a low-key crazy game. What he can do. That's popping Something off like that. right now. Yeah. Avatar: the Last Airbender. It's coming yeah. out on Netflix. Yeah. I gotta rewatch it. I gotta rewatch the whole anime, the Damn. whole cartoon. Yeah, for sure. Also, Danny Phantom. Danny, Danny, Danny Phantom? Phantom. Yeah, that'd Ghost. So I'll be sick. Ben Just... Ten with different, uh, different uh, <laughs> <laughs> abilities. I don't. I never watched it. But, like, different <laughs> yeah. It's but. nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has a watch. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's move on to some blind ranking. Okay. Who wants to rank 10 different... Let me get a pen. My oh, shit. All right. We got, I'm going to say 10 different popular games, and mm-hmm. you're going to blind rank them 1 through 10. Okay. Who wants to do it? No matter. We could do Diddy since he's the guest. All right. Okay. All right, Diddy. Give me... Um, put on the list Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Uh, sketchy start update was update fixed a lot of things I think the anime helped it a lot so I think I haven't I haven't really I haven't played it I've seen gameplay of it uh, I think I had to put in like seven alright mm. give me God of War one God of War one mm. like the, Rem- the remaster uh, like 2018 the, okay yeah. God of War one that's like a easy that's a top five for sure so I think I'm gonna put it at Five, because I don't know what other games. Ooh, put it. Pretty low, pretty low. All right, <laughs> put uh, Valorant on there. Valorant, Valorant, amazing competitive game. I would say it's like um, I get I I give it like a like a six just because I'm ass at it. All right, you got your middle already sorted yeah. out. So God of War is five, Valorant is six, Cyberpunk is seven. Give me Among Us. The Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> Never, we never, we really didn't play it, so I, I mean, I have to give it like a fucking, I'll give it a nine, just in case there's some ass game that I hate. <laughs> All right, give me Fortnite. Fortnite paved the way for newer games. I have to give it like a four. 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 <laughs> All right, Minecraft. That's an easy fucking two. Easy two. You always go. We always go back to Minecraft, no matter what. I think we're gonna start a world again. Let's stream it. Warzone one. Warzone one, three is too high for it. But I mean, it's like the the only thing I have for it. Yeah, it could, one, <laughs> three, eight, and ten. For a lot of people, it could go one or nine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, rebirth wise, I I have to give it a three because 
I mean, it's just the only thing open. Ooh, but the next ones are going to be tough. Yeah. Because <laughs> I put top 10 games, so. Oh, shit. All right, let's give you Super Smash Bros. Smash Bros. We didn't really play it. Probably like, a, what do I have, 8? 8, eight, eight 10. 10, and 1. I'm going to just give it a, I'm going to give it a 10. Because just to pattern or give myself cushion for whatever two games are coming. Okay. All right. You got two left. You got the number one spot and number eight spot. Um, Red Dead 2. Red Dead. <laughs> Thank God I have eight. Look, look, I haven't. To me, it was pretty boring for me. I haven't. I haven't played the oh, full wow. story. I'm sure. I'm sure the full story is immaculate. But just the first intro, I couldn't play. I couldn't finish it. So I'd say eight. Oh, I thought you love that game. No. All right. Last one was GTA Five. This one. Yeah. Number one. one. Always the yeah. funnest. The funnest game to go back to with your friends. Oh my God! It's the hilarious game. All right. This is a pretty. It's a pretty good list. That list is mid as shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I what think, would you change if you can? I think Warzone's a little too high. You actually got the top two games. To be honest, uh, GTA and Minecraft, Minecraft which are the actual Minecraft. ones. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think the only thing I would switch is Warzone and maybe God of War. Because Warzone is in what? I, yeah, I think your bottom I section is pretty good. Sure. Warzone is a uh, three. God of War is five. Okay. So you got GTA, Minecraft. Warzone, Fortnite, God of War, Valorant, Cyberpunk, Red Dead 2, Among Us, and Super Smash. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, I'd say that's a pretty good list. I mean, besides the Warzone be kind of high like that, but... Yeah. I think... I think me saying... Um, uh, <laughs> what's it called? Red Dead 2 being super low, I think that's a, the hottest take I'm going to get. Yeah, a lot of people a love, lot that, of people game. love that game. Top five games for a lot of people. I know, Skill to Rage... Probably top two. Yeah. yeah. The game is amazing. Online dash. I hate it. <laughs> no, I mean, just looking at it, it doesn't look pleasing for me. The no. Western vibe. Um, every time I see Rage playing, it's just on a horse. So I was like, okay. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing. Yeah. It looks like nothing new you can add. It's not like GTA where I could roll out with my Lambo with a, with a <laughs> minigun on my side or something. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any segments from you guys? Um, no, what I mean, you guys want to do? We could, we could do the yes or no, I guess. I kind of already said, okay. You have some of that? Yeah, so we got games coming out this year, and if you're going to play it or not, okay? And I want I want to hear from both of you guys. Tekken 8, fighting game. You guys going to play it? I'm not playing so. it. No. Uh, no. Okay. I'm just, I'm more of a, like, yeah, I'm I'm competitive with fighting games, but it's just like not, like, not like playing different yeah. fighting games. Like, yeah, I, I kind of just stick to, like, maybe Street Fighter if I play a chance or end Mortal Kombat. That's like the only yeah. thing. Yeah. And I think I'm kind of over the fighting games now. Really? I've played them a lot already yeah. um, mm-hmm. growing up, and they, there's no, for me, there's no Instinct area like. where they can hide in it. It's going to be the yeah. same one lane thing. I, yeah. It's going to be the same thing. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a hard, it's like a hard genre to like try to move, not move, but like kind of create something new off of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Besides, I guess the new finishers and stuff, yeah. but I, that doesn't do it for me to keep playing and grinding. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Second game is Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I think, I think I I'll think, be playing. Yeah. I'm going to give that I'll a be, try. Yeah. A hundred percent. I've, We'll play it, but the only well, not the only reason the game looks fun, it looks great. But I think uh, my friend Alexis, skill pan pan, yeah, he's been hyping this game. He he's loves, like, Yo, he you won't. better, you gotta pre order it, you gotta pre order it. So, yeah, for I sure, I'll, yeah, be, I'll, sure I'll for sure be playing it. But. but the Batman's, I don't know if it's the same gaming franchise, but the Batman's came out flawless, yeah, all of them were great. Oh, it is, it is, it's the same company, I'm pretty sure. Okay. The one then that made Arkham got them series, nights. Right? just recently came out yeah. too and that one flopped that one did yeah. flop so this one's gonna come out too and yeah we'll see, we'll see. yeah I, do, I don't know did why. you guys play Gotham Knights? no no I didn't okay. play but I, I don't know why maybe at least for me maybe there are some DC games that are really good but I feel like DC games maybe it's cause I'm not even into DC that much but I feel like DC games for sure they uh, they just don't make as good as games as like Marvel games and a lot of people people could be like Arkham, Arkham. Yeah, hundred percent. Like a lot. Yeah. yeah, the Batman's were the, at the amazing. time were way yeah. better yeah. than any Marvel yeah, games. Than any, yeah, for sure. Marvel games, you just have Spider Man now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and yeah, so maybe that. maybe Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's just hard to make a superhero game in general. Yeah. 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 But there were a lot of games that came out. Like Incredible Hulk came out, mm-hmm. and that one was horrible. X Men Origins was. Oh yeah, it was. It's an old one. Like uh, before they like remastered it or 
it, the Incredible Hulk, which is the actor that played Hulk before. Oh, the, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. So the the Incredible Hulk movie. Yeah. yeah. And um, X Men Origins, Iron Man mm-hmm. came out. Iron Man VR came out too. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Guardians of the Galaxy came that out. One, oh yeah. Huh? Just recently. It's it's like it's like fifty fifty. I see. I feel like a lot of people say it's good, and some people was just like, yeah, that really was definitely it. mixed. Yeah, I think it's more on the good side, mm-hmm. but it's still mixed. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What other? I think that that might be all the superhero ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let me see the other games coming out. We got. Okay, we got Destiny Two: The Final Shape. I we, think I'm over Destiny right now. Think so. I was gonna say you did stream it for a little bit. Like yeah, I was having while. fun. It was I pretty like fun. Like it. Um, I uh, think the only thing is that a lot of the DLC and new stuff that, that looked cool and all that was like locked behind the DLC and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah you you, know, you know what I think everything. it was? Yeah. I think for me, cause I played Destiny when you started streaming it, I played like a lot after that and a little bit, like a little bit more, but I think it would, it's just, it would, maybe cause I was just too late to the game. So it was, it just felt super over, like overwhelming. Like, yeah, I didn't, like everybody had stuff, like stuff that they had from prior seasons mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't like how. I enter a mission, um, and anybody can enter it, mm-hmm. and um, I get it. They're helping, yeah. but their weapons are overpowered. Yeah. And you're so I'm just going nothing. through, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And everybody's already like halfway across the map. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, I understand. That's why Destiny Two has like the the almost one of, like kind of the biggest um, communities is because I mean they've been grinding it. So like when they play, they like they when new stuff come out, they like they love it. Yeah, yeah. If Destiny Three comes out. Yeah, I'll play oh, yeah, it, but play. not the final shape coming out. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I might get it a try just because Pam Pam would want me to play it again. He likes it. Yeah, he Destiny. loves Destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the next game we got is Arc Two. Arc Two. I, I actually I never knew that Arc Two was coming out. I didn't. I never seen anything of it. But they think, just released like a well I think, Arc like DLC. It was supposed to be two, yeah. but it's not. It's like a I don't know what it's it is. Expansion pack, just new map or something. Wait, can they? Is it? Correct me if I'm wrong, but is uh, Arc just one map? You just play? No, no. There's multiple maps. Okay. And there's, I believe, s- different servers of different like mods and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Like, like, isn't it like um? I don't know if it's just the mods. I'm pretty sure it was like three different versions of the game already. Where it was like Arc, but then there's like robot dinosaurs, and then there's one like just normal dinosaurs or something like that. Yeah. It's a little. Is I mean, it's all that's another game that's r- overwhelming just because of the community and all that. Yep. But. Um, for sure, when we played it, it was it was pretty fun. I, we played it for a little bit. Um, I mean, I still couldn't like compare it, or because like with Minecraft, and maybe it's because like I know everything about Minecraft, kind of. Yeah. yeah. And so I kind of know what to do after the thing, but like after, like building a base in Ark, what do you do after? Yeah. Go get yeah. better dinosaurs. Like I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's game knowledge with yeah, that. Sure. Like you have to put the time in yeah. on those type of games. Um, the forest, Sons mm-hmm. of the Forest, that yeah. we never yeah. continued. That was I was gonna say that's another thing. I there's a lot of games that came out in 2023 this year that was like really anticipated and just like flopped. Yeah, for sure. Sons of the Forest was one of them. So, like the first Forest game. I mean, it, Sons of the Forest. I think it added more and it was better than uh, Forest. But I just I don't know why. I just I think you know because didn't I don't know if it's even on console yet still is it? Because didn't it only start on PC and they said and then they're going to enroll it to console? Not uh, too sure, but I did hear I it has a short story. So maybe yeah, that's why yeah. too. Yeah, well, probably. The Forest also had a short story too. Oh. But yeah, I don't know. Something about it, it was just... It felt like the, it felt like a, a better version of the, the original Forest, but it just... I don't know why. You know what it might be? It might be because like, I mean, those story games... Or not story games, but like those survival games. It's, I mean, that's, that's probably why like Minecraft just has the formula because like no matter what... You finish a game, you beat your game, or one of your friends steals your diamond. I'm looking at you, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> but and then the whole world blows up or something. But the, that's the mm-hmm. thing about Minecraft. It's like right after all whatever you're done, the next time you play it, you start a new world. It's a completely new world. So like Sons of the Forest is like the same map. Like you could finish, you could beat it the story wise, and mm-hmm. then you play the same map. So what are you going to do? The same shit that you did in the first world probably. Right. Yeah. So I think that's why like those kind of survival games like Ark, maybe that's probably why it kind of dies down kind of quick. Yeah. Then once you beat it, it's like you can't really go back and play it, replay it. Like a Skilled new rookie loves it. Yeah, I was gonna say he does. Yeah. Sons of the Forest. No, no uh, Ark. Ark. Oh. Ark. He loves Ark. I think that's his main game. Well, mm. is it like okay? Wait, I'm trying to think because now I'm thinking, isn't it more like Rush, where like you build your base and people just go fucking? Yeah. They can steal your oh. shit. Yeah. So okay, that's probably what. 
Because Rust has a big racist community now. <laughs> 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 they have a, they have a, their community is like really... Uh, it started like they, super they, toxic they, when it came yeah, out. Yeah, 100%. But um, yeah, for Rust, I mean, people just like, they stay on 24-7. Like they got arms for their things. Yeah. Those, are, those guys are dedicated players right there. Yeah. Sure. I think I got killed by a snowball gun or something. <laughs> and I, I, I dipped. That yeah. was it. Yeah. Honestly, like, the funniest the moment of, for, for Rust for me was when he went to your house and he ended up playing uh, Rust through your PC. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, we were dying. It was so funny. I remember that, Because we yeah. were in Discord, and then obviously that game has a game chat, and there was just these kids that they knew what they were doing. And me and, me and him, were, we didn't know. So we're like, we don't know what to do. Can you guys help us? They're like, yeah, you could join us. And then uh, I've definitely 100% seen uh, clips. It's like a flintlock pistol. That like uh-huh. you basically smack a rock on top of it and it shoots. But if you hit a headshot, it one taps like oh, anything. Oh, okay. So they gave us me and uh, Diddy one. Damn. And so um, we're like, in Discord, we're like, yo, we're, when we get a chance, bro, we're just going to kill it. We're just going to take the shit and run, right? <laughs> oh, my God. And it was so funny because we, uh, we ended up like, we're just they were just kept talking. They were teaching us how to play. And they're like, here, take this. And we get, they gave us a flintlock. And then I was like, okay, but this is the shit part. Is that... Um, <laughs> The thing, it, like, <laughs> it's random. So you can, I'm pretty sure you can hit the, the top of the flintlock like twice and it'll shoot, or you can hit it like nine times and it won't shoot. What? So yeah. it's just random. So I think I remember I we were like, okay, ready? Three, two, one. And we did it at the same time, but I think his never went off. <laughs> and they ended up killing him, and I just ran. Dude, it was the funniest thing. Dude. Yeah. That, was, that was like, yeah, that was like the, the peak of my rest, like, just playing it. Yeah, it was I'm just sure. that. But, <laughs> yeah. But Ark, I think I'd definitely be playing. Bring back the customization for the characters that you had. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. That one's kind of I'm iffy on that one. Ark 2. But I, I think I'll give it a try. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Vin Diesel's was in it. Oh. Yeah, oh. Nah, they got my money now. <laughs> he's all rolling around and shit. <laughs> T-shirt's still white. I don't white. think he's going to be in the main camp. I think it's just for uh, <laughs> like the intros or whatever. Just trailer. Yeah. Okay. Next game we have is Final Fantasy VII. No, no, I think, never I think I'm too lost in Final Fantasy, like Fantasy lore, that I'd be completely lost and playing it. They're on number seven. It feels like nah, they have. Okay, so 30. I think seven yeah, is definitely. a remaster, but I think the most recent one is like sixteen. I'm not even kidding. I'm oh, pretty sure. Yeah, damn. That's like yeah. maybe it maybe feels w- like a new person can't even start. Yeah, like, maybe one day I'll start it, but I still have to, would have to play it all, throughout all the games. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I would say no either for that one. Next game, Star Wars. Outlaws. Yeah, I'll I think give it I a try. Would, I, Loki, I think I would try it too. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not really into Star Wars. Like, I never watched the movies or played any of the other ones previously yeah. to that. But yeah, I think I'd try it. Same. I think with this one, what I saw, I don't know if you need to know the story because mm-hmm. it's like based on this girl or something. Yeah. An outlaw. Yeah. yeah. And maybe it's a kind of origin for her. Mm-hmm. So you don't kind of need to know the backstory and the history. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'll figure it out on the way. Yeah. So uh, that's why I might play this one. Yeah. And from a person that's always been looking at Star, Wo- Star Wars from a like, just different perspective, I always thought Star Wars was just like straight. Like you have a lightsaber, bad guy, good guy. That's it. But this one seems like it's like, I mean, I don't, I didn't see it. I mean, you could still, I'm pretty sure you still can use a lightsaber. Mm-hmm. But on this one, I saw that she basically just like carries a gun with her. Oh, stuff okay. like that so i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot different than star wars yeah for sure but yeah and then i have <clears> one <throat> last game here which is little nightmares 3 who i think i had to play the the previous ones to play it yeah i think number two was like critically um uh, scored high yeah and i was debating on whether trying it or not it's just mm-hmm. the graphics so some of those games it like just take like, me out yeah but um i, I think it's just the art style right yeah, yeah, the art like style. Yeah. Uh, I just got to be more of... On 2024, I'm play a lot more games, be more open-minded, and just give it a try. Mm-hmm, so, yeah. I, I might, yeah, if I play the previous ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's obviously more games like, coming out, but those are, like, the top ones that yeah. we're waiting for. Plus, like, Skate, if that comes out that year. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. All right. All right. This one we're going to breeze through quick. All right. We're guy. You are going to rate the skilled members we have. I'm going to okay. give you 10 skilled members. You're going to rate them 1 through 10. Okay. 1 based on their uh, on their skill rank. Okay. And uh, probably COD. Just COD. Okay, just COD. Yeah, right. And then um, 1 being the highest and the most skillful from 10 being the lowest. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have uh, skilled Anthony. Skilled Anthony? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to just tell you the 10 first. Okay, yeah. Skilled Slayer. 
okay. skilled assassin, skilled juju, skilled Leonard, skilled unknown, mm -hmm. which is psycho, skilled bean, uh -huh. skilled rage, skilled rookie, and skilled icy. Okay. And uh, I'll help you along if you don't really know their gamer sense. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. All right. So, so first one is skilled Anthony, and then it's one through ten. I heard the. I'm gonna have to, and this is not me being biased. I'm gonna have to give Anthony four. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See if he's gonna be upset about yeah, that. Yeah. I was say you gotta <laughs> know right now. You're about to hurt some feelings today. <laughs> All right, um, Anthony, number four. All right, and then what else we got? We got. Just we could do. I mean, to get. To be honest, okay, we'll, we'll do it like this, okay? We'll put me, like, just last. Because that's, that's kind of biased, no? no? I feel like even just us three would be biased. Because we're here? I didn't even put myself in it. Uh, but oh, did you not? Oh, no. Because okay. that's okay. our slamming shit. <laughs> Go ahead. Where are you ranking yourself? Shit, that's... I don't know. Hey, um, I know. <laughs> I know where I know. you're ranking yourself. <laughs> Where's it at, huh? All right, we'll put you one. <laughs> Anywhere to say it? All right, where are you rating your brother? Okay. Okay, well, can we move Anthony to, uh, like, three then? Because I thought you were in there. I was going to put, like, us top three. Oh, okay. Yeah. The only thing about Anthony, though, he's fucking... One, he's turned. He's cracked. That is, there's no taking away that away from him. It's just... Two, he doesn't have a mic. He don't talk. No comms. <laughs> no comms. 2023. No comms. No comms. And <laughs> I think he just... I mean, he just needs to learn just basics. Like, just, uh, like, how to play a map. Because I remember playing ranked. Like, with Warzone, he's cracked. He can fucking... He, he'll gun anybody. For sure. But with uh, ranked, I remember playing ranked. I mean, you were even, you were lost too, but for sure, three. All right, Slayer, Assassin, and Anthony, yeah. top three. Yeah. All right, we have a uh, rage. Rage. <laughs> rage, rage, rage. Let's let's put someone at the bottom. <laughs> who's number ten? <laughs> number ten. Um, who was okay? Who was the list? It was it's gonna be Juju, Juju. Leonard, Leonard, Psycho. Unknown, uh, Bean, uh -huh. Rage, Rookie, and Icy. Okay. I think I've played with Bean a couple of times, right? Yeah. Um, Icy, I always play with him, Zombies. I don't really, I never really played with him more than I don't think. Or Call of Duty. Um, okay. We could do... Oh, man. <laughs> Ray, actually, well, okay. Let Who's better, that. Rage or Rookie? That's tough. I, honestly, me personally... I think they were at the same thing, but low key, Ray when he got back on Warzone and he was he was playing mouse and keyboard, right? Yeah, yeah. He was really he good was. on mouse and keyboard. I feel like he was like uh, really turnt. So I would say Ray is higher than Ray or Rage. But where would I put those two at? <laughs> well, right, just go in order then. Okay. Number four. Number four. Shit, dude, I don't know. This is hard. I right, hope you. I don't want to hurt feelings. Slayer, Assassin, Anthony. Mm -hmm. All right. You have uh, Juju okay. and Leonard. Uh, Juju is better than Leonard. Leonard mm -hmm. is a troll and will try to blow up anyone with a heli if you <laughs> oh, hop yeah. in. He did it to me twice. That's, he's going to 10. Unknown no rages too much, but he can almost be the same uh, level as Juju. Mm -hmm. Bean has been doing bad recently because he said he don't care about the game. <laughs> but he was, start, he, he was good. He was good. Okay. So he might be better than Juju or the same. And then Rage and Rookie... Those are those are hard. Icy's last. <laughs> <laughs> he has that funny clip I have on the TikTok where he's like running away from gas, and then he sees someone right in front of him. He's like, "Oh shit!" And he tries to shoot, but it's reloading. <laughs> and then he, he he gets scared, so he backs up into gas. <laughs> he's already low health, so he dies. <laughs> it's the funniest clip ever. <laughs> All right, okay. I see last, and then um, okay. Oh, Rage and Rookie are both uh, better than everyone else. I was gonna say Rage and uh, for, for sure. From I mean, even I feel like when Warzone first came out, everybody was lost. Yeah, I feel like everybody didn't know what was going on, but for sure, Rage. I think Rage for sure now knows w what what's going on for sure for anything now. Yeah, I think um, that was hard. Rage or Rookie? Yeah, because Ray Ray doesn't really play anymore. Yeah. All right. We'll give it to Rage. Yeah. Since uh, he'll probably kill me if I say rookie's better. <laughs> yeah. Rage, rookie. And then six by going straight passion. I gotta go with my boy Juju because I feel like he got passion. He him. got passion. Yeah. Juju, 
Uh, then we got Leonard, Unknown, and Bean. Okay. Leonard killed me twice with Leonard a helicopter. Leonard is nine. I was gonna say Leonard killed me twice with a helicopter, so I, that's <laughs> he's on my shit list. No, I'm, just <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, who else we got? We uh, got Bean, Bean and Psycho Unknown. Okay, Psycho. Um, Psycho is not. He's not a kid, right? That's yeah. He is. Yeah. Okay. Both. I'm trying because I'm getting mixed up with uh, someone else. That also I'm gonna can... go. I, uh, I'll, I'll help you. Psycho mm-hmm. and then uh, Bean. Okay. Yeah, because I definitely have played... I think I'm pretty sure I played with Bean with you one time. That was from YouTube member Skilled Anthony told us to rate the Skilled members. <laughs> I think uh, every YouTube member will get a segment um, into every podcast. So, yeah. We have that segment from Skilled Anthony. There's your top 10. You are number four, Anthony. It would have been... Three in this list, but... Four what what I, I kind of, I was gonna say, what I kind of rated it between was, or at least the fuse that I that I did, because she mostly did it, um, was that the one v one tournament that we did. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. Then, I remember Anthony and uh, Assassin were literally. It was what a snake a snake war. The who won? It was me. It was him. Oh, but I think it was okay, about okay. like what? Two it points? was like two or three kills or something like that. Mm. Yeah. And I slammed your shit. So. <laughs> you won the one v one tournament, yeah. and for a hundred bucks. Yeah. That was a hundred. Damn. Who won the most uh, rebirth term- tournaments from you two, or well, just tournaments of, in general? Well, if you're doing wheel spins, for sure. Me, I, I, I haven't won one. Oh <laughs> damn! I still haven't won a single. But you didn't win any tournaments, though. Like, tournaments, yeah, tournaments yeah, we, we did. Yeah. Won it, I'm pretty sure we won the duo one, both of us. Uh, I actually can't remember what the tournaments did you do. I don't think was there solo tournaments. Mm. No, no, I didn't, I didn't really do have solo. solo tournaments, huh? mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. Yeah. You ready for the main event? Yep. yep. Drum roll. We got the bracket. All right. Uh, we're going to rate all the um, franchises, what video game franchises, respect. and um, see who, what comes out on top. What is the best video game franchise? Okay. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Wait, making sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, one more. Sorry. One more random question before we move on to the bracket. Yeah, yeah. The last, the main event. If you had to get rid of all Xbox games or PlayStation games, which uh, one are you getting rid of and why? That's I, hard. I don't think it is hard. It's not I hard. I mean, technically, well, I mean, because I'm thinking like Minecraft because it's Microsoft o- owned. So like, but I don't, but think, I don't think that would count, right? Because it's, it's on, on PlayStation everything? or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, then Xbox, Xbox then. For sure. <laughs> like getting Xbox, rid of the yeah, Xbox yeah. games? Yep. Uh-huh. Well, it's, uh, well, I think why? Like, I mean, what's the heavy just thing? PlayStation just have so many heavy hitters. It's actually insane. Yep. Like I, yeah. La- Last of Us. We got we got Horizon, right? Zero Dawn or yeah. That little series. Big Planet. Little Big. Pl- I mean, really yeah. fun game. I missed that game. Um, we got what else? We got God of War. I'm sad I didn't play the new one, the Sackboy Adventure. Sack oh, no. Man, but it's not as like it's not the original one. I feel like I think it was only no, it was multiplayer, but it wasn't actually wait. I don't really know. But yeah. There's oh, that. but yeah, take a look at this list. You have Last of Us. Yeah. Last of Us. Uncharted, Uncharted. The God of Wars. Spider Man. Uh-huh. Horizon Zero Dawn. Gran uh-huh. Turismo. Ratchet and Clank. Mm-hmm. Bloodborne. Yeah. Those are the top ones. And then Xbox, you have Halo, yeah. which is not doing too good anymore. No. Gears of War. Are which they making new ones? Non existent right? anymore? I don't think they I don't think they've made a new one. Mass Effect. While. Don't know what that is. Which is not existing anymore, I think. Mm-hmm. And Forza. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I think, well, I'm pretty, Halo right now, I don't even know about the story. I don't even. <clears throat> no. Never they really had the. It. Wasn't like their game flopped. or something like that? What? It was like the, the, story? the story was like a free roam kind of game. Like it was still kind of like linear, like, mm-hmm. um, but it was like free roam, I'm kinda pretty like sure. Far Cry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Um, I mean, I do think Xbox with their well, with Halo, uh, apparently it's a really good competitive game. Yeah. A lot of people still like watching Halo with the competitive scene, but even, like, I just don't even see content from YouTube. And they have games. a Battle Royale coming out. Oh, yeah, that's true. I think uh, I saw Tim the Tab Man. Um, mm-hmm. He played it early or something like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, I think PlayStation I, just... For some reason, I swear I thought Xbox had way more exclusives. Well... I know. Especially growing up, I felt like because it's because well, Xbox, Xbox started. Remember everybody. Well, now it's for for Xbox people. That's how it feels with PlayStation. Is that all the? I remember. What's crazy is a lot of people don't know. 
a lot of younger people. With Call of Duty, we're play- if you were playing on PlayStation and a DLC came out, you would have to wait a whole month. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. For the thing, because like if it was uh, it was an exclusive, but for Xbox, they had a deal with Call of Duty. Yeah. So they would get it not even a month early. It would release on uh, Xbox, and you would have to wait for everything for PC. I'm pretty sure, for like Wii, if you had it for Wii, yeah. anything. PlayStation, you would have to wait a month for all that. So I think that's another thing. Xbox back in the day, I would say, had a lot more and everybody was talking about Xbox back you know in the day. I, you know what I kind of feel mm-hmm. like? It's like, place our PS3 when like it was a play, uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 era. Like, Xbox, I feel like Xbox 360, like online era, like that shit like thrived the most. Yeah. But yeah. even if PS3 still had like crazy exclusives, it just like wasn't really as like popular as Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. Right. But, like I feel like everybody owned like almost every... Like old YouTuber like Phase, they all uh, all played on 360 or Xbox. I just remember playing PS3 and then saying all the exclusives we have. Yeah. And Xbox was like, we have Halo. Yeah. Like, that, yeah, was that. that was it. That was really it. Or it. we don't care about a little Big Planet. Like yeah, we got Gears of War. Yeah, yeah. little Big Planet was a shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was the cart? The the Mario Kart one for the PS3 though. I Mod forget. Nation Dude, Racers. They need to bring that back. <laughs> Mod Nation Racers. That was yeah. so sick. The customization was so great on that game, on mm-hmm. the cars and characters. Yeah. All right. You guys ready for the bracket? Yep. Yes, sir. Ooh, we're going to have to kind of breeze through this. Yeah. Not talk absolutely. too heavy on each one, but so even now I'm get the no brainers out. The round one should be easy. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have Call of Duty franchise versus Sonic franchise. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah. Easy? Yep. Mm-hmm. But growing up with Sonic was something yeah. else. Sonic Colors, <laughs> I miss you. All right. Um, oh shit. Uh, Halo and Pokemon. Oh, honestly. Some of these are hard though. I didn't so. grow up with Halo, and a lot of people. I mean, literally, people say those were like the the, the days, glory, the Halo, glory days. Glory days. Yeah. yeah. For sure. For me personally, I think Pokemon. I and, say Pokemon too. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could say I could say Halo, but I mean Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. That's Damn, contra- getting rid of yeah, Halo. That's, that's Xbox a titan. That's gonna a titan come for right us. There. Xbox community. You could tell which one we grew us. up with. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil or Assassin's Creed? Resident Evil. Really? Yeah, yeah I think Resident Evil too. Oh shit! Really? You know why? Because yeah. I think we grew up. Well, our cousin Junior always played Resident Evil, yeah. and then Assassin's Creed. It wasn't. I only played like two. Yeah. I played two as well. But oh, mine or it was ours. Okay. I think Black two Flag and one. Syndicate. I, I was gonna so. say Assassin's Creed, but. All right, I give that to you. I'm not mad at that. I feel like it's a, it's on its rise right now for some reason. Like it's a remaster rise. Right. Resident Evil, yeah, for sure. Mortal Kombat or Metal Gear Solid, which is an Xbox yeah, exclusive, yeah. I think. And so uh, we I didn't play it. Metal Gear Solid. It was pretty fun. But I only played the campaign from Red, Metal, yeah. Metal Gear, so uh, I competitive scene. I think Nick Merckx came from uh, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. No, mm. no, no. Sorry, no. I'm thinking Gears of War. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Metal. Yeah, my dad loves Metal Gear Solid. Though. Oh, but shit. I would say I thought they were the same thing. Metal Gear and Gears. Yeah. I look. At, I confused. That's them right what now I was too. like. Yeah. When I said, it, I was like, wait. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I still I think Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Though. Yeah. Just a classic. Yeah. I feel like man, you could take a console <clears throat> with Mortal Kombat in there, and everybody would want to play the game. GTA or Street Fighter. GTA. GTA. Easy. Easy. Uh, Battlefield or Far Cry. Far Cry. Yeah. Far, Far Cry. Cry. Didn't really play Battlefield that much. Yeah. Spider Man, Battlefield, or... and Call of Duty's fucking community <laughs> go at it constantly. But Spider Man or Elder Scrolls, Spider Man. But like most recent Spider Man, like 2018, uh, this one. The whole just this, like, the whole Man. franchise. Uh, probably Spider Man. I know a lot of people like uh, Elder Scrolls, right? Yeah, it's a really good game. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet, so. Is that the same as Elden Ring? Is no, it the no, same that's, thing? That's uh. So those what you're talking about the Elden Ring ones are Bloodborne games. Those the are Bloodborne. Like the, yeah, those are oh. like boss fight games and like stuff like that. I thought they were from like liar, Dark Souls. <laughs> no. Oh well, yeah. That's what that's what it is, right? Dark I think Souls? so. I'm pretty sure. Same thing. Damn. I think I don't know. I we we I mean, were like, we're just, these guys don't know <laughs> shit about shit. gaming. <laughs> no, but for sure, Elden Ring. When I played it, it made me want to play all their older games and yeah. shit like that. That game, you gotta try. I mean. For me, because when I was looking at it, I was like, yo, that kind of game is kind of... I feel like there's just too much going on. Elden Ring was cool? Yeah. Really I good. I, yeah. I played it, and then I made a new game plus. That's how good it was. I made, yeah. I made it like a second one. Shit. Really fun. And Rage oh. Inducing. Hell yeah. All right. We got um, Pac-Man or Minecraft. 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 I did Pac-Man still going? 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think they uh, got like the same, obviously the same game. Legend of Zelda or God of War? God of War. God of War. Oh, that's another thing we didn't. With the game, did you do you know what games are getting nominated right for the game oh, yeah. of the year? We could do that then. Yeah, you, I mean we can, we already. I think I already. Yeah, we already kind of went by. Oh it. yeah. Yeah. All right, we got the Uncharted or Final Fantasy. Uncharted. Uncharted. I would love to get in Final Fantasy, but it just looks too scary how long it is. <laughs> how much game is it? You can see we're hella biased yeah. uh, against Nintendo Switch games. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I grew up. Well, we grew up playing Nintendo games, but like, it's just like it's night and day. Not the exclusives, yeah. like or. Yeah. Because like apparently exclusive? Breath of the Wild, the well that's not the newest one. The Tears of the Kingdom Tears is the newest the one. That one is apparently a lot of people like it. Mm-hmm. But the thing is that I think for my demographic now, I just don't. I just never find it on my thing, and I'm like, okay, I'm not really into it. So I don't know. Yeah. But. Um, Lego or NFS Need for Speed. Shit. The Lego Ooh, games. I, Lego Lego games are so. Sad. <laughs> Lego. Indiana What's your favorite Jones, Lego dude? game? Oh we God. well we. <laughs> We always we grinded Jurassic World, Jurassic, like yeah. Jurassic World, and Jura- or, uh, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. Those Damn. are the both two. It's crazy because uh, everybody is just, it's just Lego Batman. Marvel. The, the like Avengers Batman. one was good. I, I got it on my PC like literally a year ago when it was on sale. It was like three dollars. I'm like, I'm about to get it, and I got it. And I just I haven't played it. Yeah. yeah. Wait, it was Lego and what else? Uh, Need for Speed. Need for Speed. Oh, Brian's gonna get mad at us for this. I might have to give it a Lego. I I'll give it a Lego. Lego. Lego? Yeah, Lego. All right. Tom Clancy's franchise or Red Dead? It's Tom Clancy has um, they Siege. Have Siege. They have um, the Dark Splinter Cell. Ghost Recon. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Wait, that's not Splinter Wait, is it? <laughs> Splinter Cell? I don't know. I don't know. But what was the, what was the other one? It was uh, Tom Clancy or Red Dead? Red Dead. Mm, Red Dead. Tom Clancy Rockstar has games. more games. To home. I was going to say, Red Dead is kind of... Well, I guess you're saying... Because we would have said... I mean, are you just like saying Red Dead just like Red Dead One and Two, like mm-hmm. not GTA included? Because no, no, no. Okay, okay. Okay. it's kind of like the the sequels and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I think um, I think Loki. If we get into Siege, I think it'll be super fun. Like, run as a squad or something. Mm-hmm. I feel like we'd be have you, huh? you played it right on stream? Yeah, I suck. I suck <laughs> at that game. My mouse and keyboard or controller? No controller. I think people would say mouse and keyboard is way easier in that game. I freaking suck. I hopped on recently too, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, just I remember couldn't the, get nothing going. Like the only time I played it was when we had a, when I had to use or when I was using the PS4 and they had it on PS Now, so I had to use it while I was streaming. <laughs> so it was the oh. terrible, most terrible quality ever. But I think I'm too uh, impatient in those games. Yeah. I get too impatient. I just want to run. <laughs> I think I get super competitive in that game. So I think um, I think Tom Clancy. I think Red Dead for me. I think Red Dead series for Ooh. I'm the tiger. I was gonna say I think Red Dead for me just a series. I mean the first one super nostalgic for me because I remember watching it from Junior again. That was one of his favorite games, and then I remember always picking it up. Yeah. Uh, and Red Dead Two, one uh, one of the greatest games that came out you know in a while to be honest, campaign wise. Yeah, like we said, Red Dead Two is um, a lot of people's number one or yeah. top yeah. two, top three. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm going to give it a Tom Clancy on the deciding yeah. vote. Get Red Dead out of there. <laughs> but, uh, because of Siege, I guess. Yeah. Siege I see, I see from, right a, I mean, Red Dead, you can only play it for campaign. And the Tom Clancy's, mm-hmm. like, whole thing, they have Well, a, Red Dead has a multiplayer, right? Yeah, but. It it's sucks? Sh- it's, it's shit. So, okay. Yeah. So, we'll Siege. Uh, Crash Bandicoot or Last of Us? Last of Us. Uh, and there, you got both, dude. This is why it's so okay. Mm. So both of these guys have never played Last of Us. He watched the show. Crash Bandicoot is better than Mario. Nah. Whoa, no. Whoa. No. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You, no. There's no way. Yeah. Mario 100 percent takes that. <laughs> those, those Mario games on Wii, dude. Top tier. Okay, I take that back. <laughs> That's a top tier. I wanted it to be better because of nostalgia, but they had. Uh, Crash Bandicoot and a, and a Spyro collab. Mm-hmm. That was the best thing ever on the. I think I had it on Game Boy. No, I think I. I, I think I would have to give it to Last of Us. Uh, I, Cause I watched. I watched like the whole campaign and I never really played it. Yeah. But I watched like. Oh, you never played it? I never. Yeah. Me neither. I never played one or two. Mm, which is a mistake. I'm gonna play when I get my PS5. Yeah. See, we're all this making us talk about yeah. like, damn, we need to play these yeah. games. For sure. Um, uh, Mario or Destiny. Mm, Mario, Jones, just because the, huh? the the little kid in me would fight me if I if I would choose them. 
Mar- yeah. For sure. True fact. They had, was it Mario? Was it a VCR? No. What was it? A TV? Something it's, you said? Uh, what do you mean? Like the... You guys had a... We had a Lightning McQueen TV. Oh, we had a Lightning oh, McQueen TV. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That shit was so hard, dude. I'm about to get one again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get, I'm gonna get it was one. Just, yeah, it was a you guys should TV, get the you know, Tomater like, Crocs oh, and then the Lightning McQueen, McQueen, McQueen Crocs, Crocs and then right. just wear one Those of these. Like, I'm far against Crocs because I, I just never... I, every time I see them, I'm like, yo... It was ugly ass shit. Yeah, bro. I was against them for a long time. They're most That's com- right. they're the, the most only Crocs I ever wear. It's Lightning McQueen ones, bro. That's it. I'm trying to get rage on them because he's against he's them awesome. too. So we're both we were both hard headed growing up, but he was a stubborn one that is yeah. not open minded about anything. Yeah. And then later I became like, okay, I just I just don't like, care. Yeah. You know what yeah. I was contemplating for Halloween to get it was the Lightning McQueen like track suit. Like the like you know how like the F one car like suit that they have? Oh, I was yeah, thinking yeah. one of that, bro. Yeah. I should have should have got it. <laughs> All right, we got Batman or Donkey Kong. Chip, Donkey Kong was fun as fuck, dude. Donkey Batman Kong Country. Yeah, sure yeah. But, but yeah, Batman. I would have to give it to Batman. Though. Yeah. Yeah, Batman. Batman for sure. There's just so much more. Yeah. The villains were great. Oh, just yeah. it's the same game, honestly, as Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, but it was low key PS3 and ahead of its time. Yeah. And the uh, villains, however, the Scarecrow over here uh-huh. and uh, Joker over here. The main story was great. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish. I'm kind of hoping that they remaster all of them again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or just make a new one like that. Yeah. 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 All right. We uh, Round two now. Okay. So we're back to Sonic or Pokemon. Oh. Wait, was it Call of Duty or Pokemon? Or wait. Cause oh, yeah, yeah. It was Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he's secretly a Sonic fan too. <laughs> Damn it. Not Mr. Eggman. <laughs> <laughs> Call of Duty or Pokemon? Oh, these are going to be tough. Yeah, it is. But I we're all Call, Call of Duty, Duty yeah. yeah. Call of Duty, but I, I what, Pokemon what, Go. I end? miss Pokemon Go though. I miss though that, that era of Pokemon Go. Man, I was carrying an iPad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go to the the lighthouse to go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Resident Evil or Mo- Mortal Kombat? Shit. Mortal Kombat gets two. I'll give these, that you guys decide that one. Damn. You guys play more. Mortal Kombat. Well, I played a lot. Of Mortal I'd rather Kombat. play Mortal Kombat Nine and. Now and Armageddon are like compared to Resident Evil. I, I don't think. know because all of Resident Evil, the story. I wasn't into Resident Evil as much. Um, I didn't play those old Story's G ones as like, much. Kind of weird, but like it just, just I mean, just as like a story game. Because in mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat, you could play a campaign, but it's not like mm-hmm. you get. It's like the. It's kind of the same thing where it's like you get tired of it after a while. I'm going like, Mortal Kombat because I still have the a uh, vision that what it could be because. I remember having this game, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. When oh, it was, dude, uh, they need to bring, they need to remaster think, another um, game like that. It was that. two well, players, gonna, yeah, that, and that uh, game, you can roam yeah, around. Oh, I'm yeah. hitting the wire. I don't want to. Huh? No, I said I was like kicking the wire. Uh, oh, should be fine. Uh, but, Mortal yeah, Kombat? Yeah, probably Mortal Kombat. Shaolin All right. Monks was fun. GTA or Far Cry? Shit, GTA. GTA. But Far, Far Cry, Cry for it's me. My, it's my baby. It's crazy how, you, mm. how you're not into GTA. Um, you got to... I think because so I grew up on it, like, I just grinded it. I played too much of it. No, I was no? it like Because I you played know, San Andreas play, and then like, Vice City. On, I don't, did they have online for They had online for four. I think that was the only one. Four and then five and then... I didn't play four or five. I it's stopped. just online. It's, yeah. so f- like, it's so fucking fun, dude. Um, the random shit that happened. Damn. All right. So yeah, for sure. Oh, we're going to come back to this one because this one's going to be a two-parter. Yeah. So, uh, Minecraft or God of War? Shit. I might have to go with that. You know what I'm going with because I, hey. I suck at Minecraft. <laughs> you didn't say I, I don't get the point. I, I don't get it. Minecraft. Minecraft. I think Minecraft. Minecraft. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Minecraft is the best game of all time. The Uncharted series or Lego games? Ooh, I actually have never played Uncharted. I'm pretty sure. None of them? None of them. Oh. I've Man. always known they were always really good. I've seen some games. Uncharted like two won game of the year. Yeah. And um Uncharted Two was the best of the three. Mm-hmm. And oh, I might such have to just give game. it to Uncharted yeah, just because like Lego, I mean it's just based off the It's movies. just a fun game, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. For sure. I think uh, I don't know if they have a Uncharted Lego. I feel like no, Nah, probably so. not. Man, they have Lego everything. They're gonna have a Lego <laughs> Fortnite collab pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, I seen that. I yeah. seen that llama little yeah. picture. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tom Clancy or Last of Us? 
Last of Last Us. us. Alright. Uh, Mario or Batman? Batman. Whoa, really? Batman. I thought you guys would be heavy on Mario. Dude, Mario, because Mario, they have so much. We have Mario Kart. Could you consider Smash all the eights, Bros? all the carts? Yeah. yeah. No, nah, not not Smash Bros. We got Mario Party. We got fucking the oh, original. Let's classic, not do like, Mario Kart. It's just just like kind of Mario, like Super Mario yeah. Bros. For the French. Yeah. That's the only reason. I mean, obviously, like with the new game out now, it's like I mean, obviously, it's like not the, not much you could change, like besides like the theme of it. Mm -hmm. But I think like. I think Batman. Well, Odyssey was like oh, ba yeah. I never, one of the I never best games. Yeah, a lot I never of people Odyssey, like that game. But I, I Odyssey really was really play. and it was kind of open. Yeah, uh, it was, like, yeah, it was open world. Was, yeah, I, <laughs> I beat it in like two days. I'm pretty sure. That's true. Mario really Batman. I'm saying, have you? Did you guys ever play Batman the online? No, but yeah. Alexis wants us to play it. That was great. Yeah, that was underrated. Can, on PC, you can get a... Not a mod, but it's basically that a game. Client? Yeah. That was un underrated. Yeah, and you could get... Being Batman or Robin. Oh, oh my yeah. God. It was so great. Yeah. Uh, damn, that one's tough, though. You, what are you saying? I, I Batman? think Batman. Batman. And you saying... I mean... Okay, well, I'll say Mario. You're just deciding. Oh, You're the deciding shit. vote. <laughs> All right, we're looking at a at a, at a franchise standpoint, all right? Because how often you go back to play Mario, but how often you go back to play Batman? Okay, I'm, okay, we could look at it like that, or we could look at it like, has Mario ever missed? Ooh, um, I don't think they've ever missed me. Either. Paper Mario miss? No, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, a lot of people like it, but it's just yeah. it's just an RPG yeah, yeah. or a turn based game. No, nah, Mario Bros. One, two, three. I just I only say I mean because Batman is pretty much if you look at it like I mean just newer games in general like if it's a long series it's mm -hmm. pretty much the same game just added more stuff. Yeah. So like Batman, obviously pretty much same mechanics, same everything. Obviously newer map op or open the map. Yeah. And all that. And then Mario is pretty much the same thing, side scroller, side -scroller. but just like adds what, like maybe they, a, a power up or two, and then like new stages. Well, this is franchise, right? Or is this just like? So would you say? Yeah. Because I would say, because Mario has a lot. They do have a lot. They got fucking. They got tennis. That mm. is true. They got Mario tennis, Mario golf, Cart, Mario yeah. Kart, soccer, soccer. Mario soccer. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, like, geez. obviously, Batman, they have, just, they have like, the GOAT ga yeah. games that they like, the Arkham series, but they also have mm. Gotham Knights. Yeah. So, yeah, it might, yeah, it might have to be more. Because I was just I looking was at a scry side scroller like perspective. Yeah. All right. Back to uh, round three. Call of Duty or Mortal Kombat? Oh, this is going to be a hot take, to be honest. Cause what? I Call think, of Duty? No. I think Mortal Kombat. You play Call of Duty way more. No, but like, I mean, chill. Call of Duty, <laughs> this shit is just like. Don't get me wrong, I love the franchise. We'll always keep playing it and all that. And they I'll got probably my play seventy dollars every year. They, yeah, they got my seventy dollars every year. What has better? But like, top if you're games? well, to to be fair, if you're comparing like, um, you have Black Ops One, Black Ops Two, Black Ops Three, no, you're getting rid of all that. Modern Warfare Two. Um, MW 2019 mm -hmm. and then for Mortal Kombat you have 10 pretty uh, much yeah just the original oh, yeah. one yeah Ten well the original nine. ones are too, yeah. mm -hmm. too super old yeah, I think but, oh I mean I, just from like that standpoint then yeah yeah I could, yeah. okay I can see what you guys like from Zombies. just yeah from like playable like you're thinking Mortal about Kombat putting is just, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Game. <laughs> okay. but I was just saying yeah. like compared to like Call of Duty compared to like even like any story base or not even story base but just like even Mario, I feel like Call of Duty has just been, they're trying to add so much shit that just doesn't work, and then they're taking out old shit that does work. Yeah, yeah. that's right now. Yeah, with the yeah, yeah. Overall, I think, I think overall, Call of Duty. Yeah. Um, all right, so, dude, GTA or Spider-Man? Shit. <laughs> that's I'm a, a hard I'm gonna one. give it a GTA. Huh? That's a GTA, I think. On Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man is the best single-player game of all time. I think I might have to give it a... It's just not even doing missions or story, just swinging, swinging around. Yeah. Like, the whole vibe is just great. Mm -hmm. but I people think I, have TikToks of just people, thousands of people watching yeah, them yeah, swing I, around yeah, in I've, slow motion. Yeah, and, music yeah. yeah with yeah. music in the back. Mm -hmm. I've seen this, but... yeah, I think I have to give it a GTA, though. 
I th- I don't Damn, dude, it's just I think the memories. Yeah, I, I think that I think it was just the memories of playing it with I think everybody. There's just so much you can do in GTA. Yeah. I think, like it just doesn't end with GTA. Damn, we have uh, Minecraft. But it should end, and fucking new games should come out. Holy shit! And with that. Minecraft versus Uncharted. Minecraft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Minecraft. Last of Us or Mario? Shit. Mario. Mario. Yep, I agree. Call of, uh, this is the final, the semifinals. COD versus GTA. It's just so like. Oh my it's god. It's just so it's so biased because we just it's caught. Well, no. This is why this is why we need to tr- like spread out from Call of Duty because. So when we're, I think we're of getting Call of one Duty, track minded. That's yeah. Why. When I think Call of Duty, dude, it's like. I just like I just think about BO3. That's my mm. my favorite Call of Duty ever to drop. So it's just like, damn. Mm. I think Call of Duty. I think Call of Duty just because we play a lot more than GTA. We did with GTA. I'm putting Call of Duty too. Yeah. We need to bring back um Michael Myers. <laughs> it's just that gun game. <laughs> All right, we got. Minecraft versus Mario. I think that's when I think we're gonna have to give it to Minecraft to be honest. I think Minecraft also. I'll say Mario, but yeah. Damn. Get overruled. Mm, COD versus Minecraft is our last our finals. Mm, but well, we're we're fucking For the we're Call of Duty French, kids. But I feel I like I think a lot of people would disagree with this. Yeah, that's what saying. I was saying. It's like we Call we're of Duty hella is hella biased, like, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. Like, we're COD kids. I mean. We, that's what we grew up. That's like our first multiplayer online game. Zombies yeah. our second mode. We grind the zombies a lot. All right. Well, I'm COD. Yeah. And then it's up And then you guys haven't really opened your guys' mind up to like really, not slow campaign, like Red Dead or yeah. Last of Us. I you want guys, to. I want, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start when I get, when I get are, a PS5. I'm going to start. You guys are more that's into just that. Throw me in that shit. Just fucking. Yeah. yeah. I see it. But when you get a PS5. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. <laughs> For Red Dead? No, not Red Dead. Oh, okay. For like Spider Man and all the God of Wars I missed or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, I'm gonna get one too. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Junior are gonna share <laughs> the new content house. There you go. So, yeah. COD versus Minecraft. Called... Lid- oh, I don't know, dude. That's the Damn, thing. you guys are putting Minecraft no, no, all no, the no, way no, up no. there. I'm saying, like, that's the thing, because with us, it's like we're super biased with Call of Duty. And then, like, it. I mean, obviously, it goes different ways because someone that loves, like, Last of Us, they'll die for Last of Us. Like they yeah. want it to be go to the end. But it only has two games. Yeah, and if we're thinking franchise wise, what's bigger, Call of Duty or Minecraft? I think Minecraft is. It might be Minecraft. Bigger? It might be bigger, but my my personal opinion, I definitely not bigger. You don't think so? No, Minecraft I think it is. is not bigger. Minecraft no, I think is... it is. What? When did it start? It started in like 2012, when it kept going. This Call month? is like 19. Yeah, but times, like, like, but. But Minecraft is like you don't you don't understand the community they have like stands that literally die for that game. Yeah, and Call of Duty it has we're, us. We're dying with the game. Yeah, we're dying with yeah. the game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> Minecraft after Rebirth Island and Warzone Two came out, literally so much people left and we stayed on. Yeah, yeah. but that's just because we're. COD it was our time to to try out new Minecraft stuff and Minecraft. we stayed on COD. You yeah. guys grinded. The worst Call of that's Duty. That's the hardest part. Uh, two though, out of ten. Uh, Modern better. Warfare two. But that's like the two ha- out of ten. That's like the that's like the hardest part. Is like because we grind COD, but then you don't really play Minecraft, and then we'll have like a month or two, three where we're back on Minecraft. Yeah. Hmm. Is, uh, or if, okay, okay, if you're done grinding COD, you're back on zombies if too. If we're thinking us wise, like okay, like most game that we played, 100 percent Call of Duty wins. Mm-hmm. But. I just think Minecraft, franchise-wise, is just... Do they have... Uh, then all the games that come out after the first one, the second one, is there a... There's, a there's first... only one Minecraft, and then they'll just branch off to, like, RPG Minecraft or, like, a story mode Minecraft. Yeah. Which is kind of like... So you can game. never say they had a one bad year? Technically. Oh. Uh, the, only, the only issue that I know they had Minecraft has is, like, they have, like, an update a year. Like, a major update a year. Mm-hmm. Where okay. they add something new. Yeah. All right, you guys. But, I mean, it's, I mean, I, would, I think I, I said think, COD. So I think it's it up to you to, guys. I think I'll let you decide. I'm gonna I, do I a have my answer. coin flip. No, I don't know. <laughs> I have my answer. Because uh, like I'm, I'm thinking it out of a different perspective. Because if it was me, 
I play COD the most. <laughs> it could be the fucking worst Call of, Call of Duty of all time. They got my 70 bucks every year. I don't care. Yeah. That's just me, though. Same. But, like, franchise-wise, dude, I think Minecraft's just better. Mine is... You're the deciding vote now. I had my, one. You had my one. choice, and I know a lot of people. Finals. And a lot, I know a lot of people are gonna oh. hate it. But three, and it makes no sense because Call one. of Duty. Damn. Call of Duty. Yeah. Okay, we're definitely biased. We're definitely. We're 100 percent. We're 100 percent. Franchise. 100 percent. No, There's not. so much shit. Like first, yo. The fact that we kind of know that Call of Duty's like, yo, because we get treated like fucking, we get treated like shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sledgehammer, thank God, they're Bro, doing. They do not care about the fans. I was yeah, gonna say like... Sledgehammer right now. They are doing their best, and they're actually what I've seen. What Sledgehammer is doing, they're, I don't know if you've seen it, but they're actually in- implementing a, a like a little not a mode, but like a playlist that the maps or the players won't disband. Just oh, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm glad they're testing shit out, see what works and what doesn't, and they're like listening to the community. Sledgehammer is. Yeah. But don't let Infinity Ward ever touch a fucking Call of Duty ever again, cause or make a map, please. <laughs> cause <laughs> don't make a map. I'm not gonna lie, those guys. Yeah, those guys are. But yeah, they're they're mm-hmm. they're stubborn. They're like rage. Yeah. All right, that is our final bracket. Call of Duty is the. Best franchise. The hottest take of all time. <laughs> that's that's the hottest that's take. Crazy. There's so much. There's so much other franchises where they think about their community, update yeah. stuff. We we're like a. Stuff. We're like one of those uh, toxic uh, relationships we where just, uh, we're, we're the girl we're and we're just we get getting beat. beating the shit out, but, <laughs> but we, we stay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're like fuck <laughs> you, COD, and then the next day we're like, like it's exactly uh, it's exactly like every yearly card you literally you're like i'm done with i'm done with her i'm done with her and yeah. then you break up with her and she just t- she tells you she changes you go yeah. back and nothing changes right <laughs> it's literally that i don't know but yeah i mean we just grew up with cod cod i feel like cod will always be there and it's just i don't know yeah that's crazy just no matter it just feels like, for at least for us, it's like no matter how shit a COD would be, we was, it was some like we'll have at least, like, uh, like a part of it where it'd be fun, mm-hmm. like just ran something random. It's always launch. Like four the four months yeah. in, always like not the best COD, but it's like really fun playing it, grinding, doing whatever. Yeah, there's and so then, much stuff now. Yeah, you got yeah. battle royale in there. Mm-hmm. You but got yeah. the zombies, multiplayer ranked. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I think COD. Well, that's our. Final rent best franchise. You heard it here. Thank oh, you guys for in tuning in. Anything else we gotta say? No. Nope. Vote in the comments right now. What would you have picked as the best franchise? And why isn't it COD? Because I know it's not COD for them. <laughs> no, a lot of people well, I think what a lot of people for me personally, it's not that it was because of Warzone that it's the best franchise. I think way before. Like I think a lot of people think like, oh shit, people only like COD because of Warzone. Just right recently but no nah, i've we have been grinding zombies series. for we so kind of base it off favoritism yeah like what we kind of put what is our favorite franchise yeah rather than what is the best like, yeah. yeah for sure but yeah so it's not the best franchise it's just our it's the best franchise <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, all right. And that's it then. thanks for tuning in i'll catch you guys on episode three uh subscribe if you haven't and uh turn on noti so you get notified every time stream or post a podcast it's gonna be every thursday at 10 a.m thanks for tuning in okay bye